there, Bethany here in my very own backyard. It's starting to snow just a little bit, so I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. I'm going to teach you right now how to spark a fire. So, we have some lint from the washing machine, the dryer, the dryer, I should say. Uh, I also have some cattails here. So you need tinder. You also need birch bark. This is my style that I do it. I make tacos like this, and I want to get that all ready to go before I try to start sparking. So, you also want to keep it as dry as possible. That's why it's not ideal to do it in the rain or the snow. What else do you need? So, designated fire pit area here. You also need some sort of steel. So, this method is also called flint and steel. So this is some flint here. Um, quartz also works. Some sort of rock that produces sparks. So you can see here sparks coming off. And then this char tinder here, this is what you really want to keep dry, dry and protect. So I'm going to try to lean over it here. Uh, Eltoid can. And I made the char tinder out of old underwear. Anything that's cotton, you can rip up in little strips and then set it on fire and I'll have another video on how to make char tinder. So you put the file right in the center there. <laughs> that wasn't stable at all. So let's see if this, I might have to bring it down to the ground here. I got one. So what happens is once a spark hits the char cloth, you can see how it's starting to expand here. And then this is what you put in the center of your lint. And I have a lot on fire. So if they're still burning, you want to close that so it snuffs it out and you can save your char cloth. So it's great to let these expand a bit, let it build. That only makes it hotter and then start to blow on it. Hold it up at a nice angle here. Watch your fingers. And then once you got flame, Set it into your fire pit. Put some more birch on it if you got it. I got some hemlocks. You always want to have your stuff ready to go because it's um, it takes effort, especially with bow drilling. Um, and we're kind of progressing up from sparking to bow drilling. And you just always want to make sure your stuff is there and ready to go. And we'll keep going once you've put all that effort into sparking. So there you go, Sparking Fire 101. And I will have an additional video on how to make char cloth, so you can do that too. And how you can get this sort of material, but to just put it out there for you, to spark a fire, that is, that's your kit. Kit right there. Birch bark, tinder, spark wrap, file, charging.